February the 29th. Unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Malachi 4, 2. And how many of us can so embody the solar principle? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Psalms 43, 3. And how many of us can recognize the Venus principle? Open our eyes, thou sun of life and gladness, that we may see that glorious world of thine. It shines for us in vain, while drooping sadness enfolds us like a mist. Come, power benign, touch our chilled hearts with vernal smile. Our wintry course do thou beguile. Nor by the wayside ruins let us mourn, who have the eternal towers for our appointed born. J. Keeble. Throughout the Upanishads, at least in multiple of them, we have this mention of the sun door. Because all those scattered rays of beauty and loveliness which we behold spread up and down over all the world are only the emanations of that inexhausted light which is above, therefore, should we love them all in that, and climb up always by those sunbeams unto the eternal Father of lights, we should look upon him and take from him the pattern of our lives, and always eyeing him should, as Heracles speaks, polish and shape our souls into the clearest resemblance of him, and in all our behavior in this world, that great temple of his, deport ourselves decently and reverently, with that humility, meekness, and modesty that becomes his house, Dr. John Smith. And, you know, the pattern of the lives in being a living temple means that we are a sunbeam that can be followed up to the source of spiritual light.